All right, guys, let's go ahead and uh, talk through these. Okay, so for the first one, like any time you're looking to factor, always look to remove common factors first. Are there any common factors you can remove from the first set? 4, 4, and negative 15, any common factors in those three numbers? No. So you can move on to the next step, which is look for special factor forms. Okay, when you're checking out these forms, is your first term a perfect square? Yeah, it's the base 2x quantity squared, but what about your last term? No, so you don't have to worry about that. Uh, there's no special factor form, so then you look to factor. Okay, and you either reverse FOIL or you uh, rewrite the middle term. Okay, so on this one, let's see if rewriting the middle term, well, first of all, so we don't have prime numbers for our leading coefficient, our constant. So if we look to see, if we take the product of our leading coefficient and constant, what is 4 times negative 15? Negative 60. Are there two factors of negative 60 whose overall sum is this middle term's coefficient plus 4? Yeah, it's a plus 10 and a negative 6. So notice I put my positive number second. It, it's not a requirement. Okay, it just uh, often leads to easier calculations. Okay, and so I'm going to rewrite my middle term as negative 6x plus 10x. Again, it still has the same value as the original. And then I drop my first and last terms down. And what I can now do is I can factor by grouping. So if I just look at these first two terms, what common factors can I remove? Numerically, I can from the numbers, I can remove a 2. And from the variables, I can remove an x. When I take a 2x out of 4x squared, I'm left with 2x. And when I take a 2x out of negative 6x, I'm left with negative 3. Now, if I've done this right, 2x minus 3 should be the binomial factor left here when I remove common factors. So let's check and see if that's true. So looking at this second pair of terms, what common factors can I remove? Just a 5, and I'm left with a 2x and a minus 3. So like I said, if I've done it the right way, and if it can be factored, I have a common binomial, which I remove, 2x minus 3. And then the remaining binomial is formed by the other factors, 2x and a positive 5. And that gives me my uh, remaining set of factors. All right, with the second question, we, we haven't looked at any problems like this yet. Okay, but here, when you look at this, can we remove any common factors? Yeah. So what common factors can you remove numerically from 24, negative 6, and negative 45? We can take out a 3. And then the variables, we can take x to the fourth, whatever the lowest power is. So the first thing I'm going to do here is this step one. I'm going to remo remove these common factors. So if I take a 3 out of 24, I'm left with an x. And I take four of these x's out, so I'm left with x squared. In this second term, I take out uh, a 3 from the negative 6. I'm left with a negative 2. I take out 4 of the x's, so I'm left with 1x. And then finally, negative 45. If I take out a 3, negative 15. Take out 4x's. There's no x's that remain, so it's just the constant negative 15. So now, uh, from this step, we need to... Uh, Continue, again, either uh, rewriting the middle term or uh, factor by trial and error. Okay, so if I try the um, method of um, my uh, leading coefficient and my constant, if I multiply those, 8 and negative 15 give me a total of negative 120. Are there two factors of negative 120 whose sum is negative 2? Again, the, since the product is negative the, and the numbers have a difference of 2, you know it's going to be relatively close. Negative 12. Okay, so we get a negative 12 and a positive 10. Rewrite our middle, middle term with those, so a negative 12x and a positive 10x. Drop down my first and last terms. Now, notice on this, if you remove common factors in your first step, you either need to include them as you write it down or make sure you remember to include them at the end when you enter your answer. I'm just going to write them down to, to help remind. Okay, but 
So that's 3x to the fourth is going to remain a factor here. And so now I can factor by grouping. I have my 3x to the fourth. Okay. And then inside this set of grouping symbols, what common factor can I remove from both 8 and negative 12? Take out a 4, and then how many x's? I have one common x. When I take out a 4x from both of these terms, that leaves a 2x and a minus 3. Do the same thing with the second pair. Okay. Take out a common factor of 5, leaving a 2x and a minus 3. I have this common binomial factor, so that comes out. I have my 3x to the 4th, my common <coughs> binomial factor of 2x minus 3, and then my remaining binomial factor is going to be formed by these leftover factors of 4x plus 5. And so I get my final solution here um, for this problem.